All right, everybody, let's try this again. It's Matt Posner, one half of the Irregulars. Chris Priester on a little late, always making that grand entrance. But uh, as I started saying before, I went to the Miami Dolphin game yesterday. I just want to thank uh, my host, Ed Canatelli, who was gracious uh, enough. He invited Michelle and I to enjoy the game. He has a sweet, great, great sweet, by the way, in the end zone, which I love. I love being in the end zone because I love to see the plays develop. And if you're a true football fan, that's really where you like to sit because you can see the receivers run their routes. You can see the linemen. You know, you can see the intricacies of the game a little bit. So it does make for interesting viewing. And for the most part, he had the New York football giants on playing the Washington Redskins in the suite. So for the most part, we're watching the Redskins giants in the suite. There was good food, good company. A lot of good friends. Miami great Mark Clayton stopped by. It was fun to see him. Uh, yesterday was alumni day at, uh, I call it Joe Robbie Stadium, because one of the things that I've been real clear about is that it is Robbie Stadium. And ever since the Dolphins or the ownership took Joe Robbie's name off the stadium, it's been nothing but a nightmare for Dolphins. And for you Dolphin fans out there, that you true Dolphin fans, if you follow the last 20 some odd years since they took Joe Robbins to the stadium, it's been nothing but a disaster. It's been completely cursed. And you can't tell me that they're to, oh, here he is, Chris Priester, the teacher. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Always, yeah. always make a happy holiday to all of our Jewish friends out yes. there. Yes. It's Rosh Hashanah, and we're having some issues a little bit right now. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be something weather-related. I think we've been out. Yeah. I, I tagged you, so it should be coming through. Why well, you are here with Christopher Priester. Yeah, your page. I'm on my page. Well, let's see. We're live. Hey, somebody chime in, please. Somebody say hi. Oh, we got viewers. Three people watching. Somebody say hi. Somebody maybe it's something. Here. Maybe it's something with your phone. Four right, people maybe. now. All right, let's get. It. So, getting back to the Dr. Lauren Zyper joining us. Hey, Larry. Okay, Larry. What's up? Uh, good to hear from you. So, the Dolphins. Mm. Ever since Happy New Year. Ever since they took Joe Robbie's name off the stadium. It's been nothing but a disaster. I call it the curse of Joe Robbie or the ghost of Joe Robbie. It and it's interesting that when we left the game and we were on the north side of the stadium, they got this huge statue of Joe Robbie, but it doesn't have his name on the stadium. And the guy built the stadium with his own money, didn't use a dollar of taxpayer money, built the on and off ramp to the turnpike so people had ease of use. Louis Aran joining us. Hey, Louis. And you take his name off the stadium, and my belief, it should be Joe Robbie's Hard Rock Stadium. Oh, now, you know the Seminoles won't have anything to do with that. Now, could you be Hard Rock Stadium or the Hard Rock Robbie Stadium? But I think in order for the Dolphins to be relevant again, they have to figure out a way to get Joe Robbie's name back on the stadium. Oh, those Indians own but just team. look at you could laugh and I think since 1996 the Dolphins have only had four winning seasons now now, now Chris Greer has been part of 18 of those seasons the general manager has been part of 18 of those seasons at some capacity he was a college scout when he first started out then he moved to head of college uh, college scouting he was then uh, pro scouting then he became general manager. Mm. And with Adam Gaze there, look, Adam Gaze, the quarterback guru, couldn't do anything with Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill was hurt most of the time. It was a disaster. It's been a disaster. And yesterday was just, and growing up here in South Florida, moving here in 1972, and getting to experience two Dolphins. Are you for real? Don't you think good night? But, but, but they're cursed. It's look, it's been bad. Look, it's not like Heisenga didn't throw money at the team. It's not like Stephen Ross has not thrown money at the team. 
And I do, do believe that there are curses out there. Don Shu was cursed too. They well, shit at Don Shu. Well, the way they got the way they got rid of Don Shu. They did that man dirty. Dirty. All he did for that organization was win. Brother. Was win. My dad proud when they did that. They, when they did Don Shu. Now that's another curse. That could be another that, curse. That could be another. Could be another I got to Google. When did they get rid of and bring in Jimmy? I think it was 1996, 1997. Down. Man. Has seen the time, all that shit happened at the same time. And the Dolphins film is 20 years. Oh my god, I think I can get in shape and play for the Dolphins. Let's move back to the well, right, yeah, they moved. Well, ever, ever since they moved, they got them down there. I, I, you lost the ambiance, the mystique of the Orange Bowl. The bathrooms, when you went to the bathroom and you stood in line. The hurricanes. And, and when, you, when you walked under the thing and it was leaking, you didn't know what was leaking. It could have been, it was the bathrooms leaking. Lars, we just named it. The dolphins and the hurricanes haven't been shit since we left the Orange Bowl. There was the mystique we of the Orange Bowl. We left the Orange Bowl. It was something about going down there and seeing all the Cubans cooking on the street, probably intimidated the other teams and shit. And all of a sudden, we moved up north, and the Dolphins ain't been shit set. Justin, what's up, buddy, man? Hey, everybody. It, hey, Judith, it, hey, man. Ever since the Dolphins left, we, we just did. 1996. 96. 96. So and look, do your Dolphin research. Mm -hmm. And ever since 1996, they've had about four or five winning seasons. I'm not saying eight and eight is a winning season to me. That's wow, not a, 96 was a Bonnie year. joining us. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah, 96. 23 years, yep. they had maybe five winning seasons. It was bad, man. Parking on, look, the whole experience of going down, yeah, 20, $20, no blocky, no blocky, no blocky. No blocky, no blocky. You, I remember that. Right? I remember that. That was an ambiance. You couldn't capture that. $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10
And now, and Minka Fitzpatrick, last year's first round draft choice, is playing tonight for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, well, here, one team is going to win tonight unless they unless they play all the time. And I saw the guy, uh, uh, the kid, the Quinn guy, got a sack last night for uh, Dallas. And I was like, wow, this is the whole team. It's getting. And what about them. Taco Charlton for the Dolphins? Got his second sack. Go Dolphins! <laughs> Thank God for the bye week. Wow. And then what about that Tampa Bay Rams score? 55 40. That was crazy. If you had the over in that game, you're loving life. Yes. That game was over in the in the second quarter. Right? You picked that great scoop and score. He's looking good though. Yes. Bring back Doug, Doug Flutie. Oh, you gotta bring back one of the worst moments in Orange Bowl history. No, they don't bring back oh I almost said the word I heard it just so I looked at the acronym. Really? Wow, that would be a shocker. And that guy's about to believe three years. Just Shape. No, he's not ready to play in the NFL. He couldn't play in the NFL when he left the yeah, NFL. Come on, man. So that that so that's basically it for that. You know, a little there. little football. Yeah, we start football. football wasn't very exciting. Uh, Other than there. Clemson had a little scare from North Carolina. Mac Brown went for the two, but all the other games were blowouts. Look what Ohio, Ohio State, Ohio State destroyed Nebraska. The the, the stadium was empty at halftime. Yeah, Lincoln. That was I bad. Speaking of college, I just saw California is going to start. Start in 2023. The governor signed it. The end, of the the end endorsement. The end, look, now if you're a college, I'm going to California. I'll play in the California League. Look, there's enough schools. There's enough colleges in California to start their own league. You got Sacramento. Ivy Myers yeah. joining us. You got Sacramento State. Yeah. You got Plenty. you USC, got USC, USC, UCLA, UCLA Fresno State, Fresno State, State Northridge. You got I mean, come on, USC. Both yeah. stars and five stars are here in the California. California. California will have their own national title. Yeah, let me sign my endorsement deal and let me get paid. Hey, that's right. Makes sense. It does make sense. Uh, look, if you're using my likeness, you should. Selling at a some of those proceeds. Yep. And they just make it money. Look, gets their take, the college gets their take, and the player should get a little piece. Now, here's how you have to do this stuff. Let the players touch graduate. They're not going to graduate. But then until they sign their first All right, contract. That's the deal. If I make that kind of money, that means I'm not now, graduating. Now, if they don't sign their first contract and they don't graduate, get the money. All right, they still get the money. Yeah. But they, but they, should, for the other, their eligibility, they leave school. You know, something has to happen. They can't have the money. They deserve it while they're in school, though. I know kids. It that should be a savings for them when they come out of school. Kids that are still looking for food on the weekends. Look, there are some professional athletes that will say, back in the day, they made more money playing in college back in the day than they did. Always remember, guys, if you got a good college program, it's not your coaches. It's those girls. Every school has a hostess team. Oh, yeah. We and talked about that last hostess. week. Hostess. Hostess. Now, moving along, enough sports, yes, yes. right? Major League Baseball, playoffs, blah, 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 who cares? Yeah. Yankees should win it all. Mm -hmm. But we have to talk about this. This yes. is on everybody's mind. Yes. The impeachment inquiry has begun mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh giuliani our uh, uh, yeah. mayor or united yes. states mayor is uh been summoned they're asking him to testify uh, but the most interesting thing about it all mm -hmm. is the donald coming out and tweeting that if i get impeached civil war might break out yeah I'm in the middle. I'm you gonna, can't be. I'm on my, I gotta you gotta work. join a side. But how are you, you you're gonna work now? How do we distinguish? So you're gonna have Confederate flag uh or red flag. Okay, so Crips in the Bloods. Yep. Right? Gang banging. Gang banging. Americans. American gang banging. American gang banging. Yeah. Crips and Bloods. Hey Michelle, red red lovely blue. girlfriend, red blue. Isn't that interesting though? How the red and the blue is the 
affirmative now. I am happy to have a black now, if you're a crip or a blood, which side are you on? If you're a gang member in one of those two organizations, you got the red. Blood in blood. Now it's the same way with politics. Blood in, blood out. I see this. I've enjoyed every second of this. I think I'm going to vote. I think I'm going to vote back in 2020. I hope. Really? I'm enjoying watching all this white hate. And now there's talk about he inquired with the Australian ambassador or the Australian Hey, ambassador. hey, life's about and, relationships. And, and, and when did you, when did the Ukraine become a hotbed for American politics? How does that happen? The Ukraine of all places. And I said, I'm going to the Ukraine. I'm going to That's where America, the, the minds go straight to, oh, he's high. That's what they said. Really? Yeah, the Ukraine guy. So it's high. all about social media social and his media. status in social media as a hot politician. I've said it. Someone that the girl. I wish we would just go back to the days uh -oh. where we were on C SPAN. Born at, it was maybe 30 people in the whole world from C SPAN politics. And Obama and Trump. They're the first social media presidents. So now, Facebook Congress, everybody is an expert. Everybody's an expert. Hell, teenagers are experts. Kids are experts. Experts in climate control. Mm -hmm. She's an expert. Yeah, listen to the baby. So what? She drives around on a boat, rich kid, probably homeschooled. Most yeah, likely. you know what I'm yeah. saying? I just ride around on a boat. Control, but don't attack me because I'm a child. Listen to me because I'm a child. I get it. Now it gets worse for the Republicans. Mm. All right, Chris Collins, yes. New York, New York representative. Nice guy. He uh, submitted his. I saw. Admits he's going to file his charge on insider trading. These guys are all insider Everybody trading. Every last one of them is getting. Come on. They come into office poor and they leave multi-million. How does that happen? I love this. Every guy public public there. service supposed to be serving their constituents. Whether you're Democrat or Republican, they all are millionaires. All of a sudden they make money. The interest groups give those nice little donations. I think I'm gonna run for office one day, see if somebody will pay me. Maybe, you know, we haven't had, well, we had Al Franken. He got in trouble. He got accused of, of some solicitation. You would never. No. It's not in your DNA. Matter of fact, before I even You'd move. actually probably be on the receiving end of it. You'd probably have women groping of you. Of course. And, and, and touching you yes. in inappropriate yes. ways. And we haven't had any, see, here's the thing. We haven't had any men come out and claim being harassed by women in power. Double standard. Double standard. I'm waiting for that. I know. I, will, I had a discussion. When is that going to happen? When are we going to have a man not. come out and say, Nancy Pelosi touched me inappropriately 20 years ago? No. He's a tough guy. If a man hangs out, the girl, but the guy is a rite of passage. He's hey, look at me. Look, I walk right into that. This weekend, I was at a nice event. All weekend, and it was about abuse and sex abuse, stuff like that. And it was all the women saying that, you know, oh, it happened to me when I was a kid. Kid. But the one dude that happened to him when he was a kid can't talk about it. Dude, women have a foot, but the guy, he's supposed to suck it up, keep it inside. Oh, you're a tough guy. You're a man because you had a woman at 12, 14, 15. Was he abused? Mm -hmm. I think, we all, I, think, I, think, I think at some level, we've all had an abusive situation at some point thing. in our lives. Nobody is free from at some level. Now, there's different. And, and you don't know as a kid, look, something that the blew it up mm -hmm. and made it. And it could have been the biggest thing, and you made it mean nothing, and you kind of just carried it around with you for your whole life. 
And you, have, and you haven't been able to have a decent relationship. Yes. I mean, and, and they hold on to all this stuff that happened as a child and then to adulthood. That might be what's wrong with some of the Dolphin players. Oh, it's just terrible. Now, staying within this yes. whole political arena, yes. we now have Florida GOP representative Matt Getz. Yes. Pranking Representative Adam Schiff telling him he's got information on the Ukraine and Schiff saying, well, I'll take whatever information you got. Now, come on, guys. This is what we resorted to. This is all this trailer. We're now, we're now like, we're, we're, we're pranking. I learned this week. The, all my black friends, whistleblower is the white man's word for snitch. Yes. I found that out this week. A rat. A rat or you're a snitch. He's a snitch. But no, in the black community, you're, you're a, rat. a rat. You're a rat. But a whistleblower. A rat. Yes. Now, in politics, you're a whistleblower. whistleblower. You blew the whistle. Foul. 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 Technical. I got it. And Trump has tapes. This is going to be good. And, they, and they've subpoenaed this whistleblower. But they... My thing is, didn't they impeach Clinton? Kelly Rogan. They did impeach. He finished. Well, I'm going to remove them. Why are we going through all this? That's my whole thing. Because we just want to waste taxpayer dollars and taxpayer time. We need something Maybe. constructive, helping people. You know, helping mental health, doing gun <laughs> control. You know about our schools, our education. Well, Look, here, this is all just a, it's still just a witch hunt. It is. I, I agree with Newt on this. It, it's real, it's, oh my God, it's going to come to, he said, she said, he but said, they said. said. You've got to let the guy just keep, he got to, and he, so. Okay, but just let him finish it. Look, he, look, the farmer, look, hold on. Let's go back to this guy. They did a piece going into his hometown where he goes to the vet and a few other people. And these people said they would still vote for him. So this guy basically, and the common folk will still vote for him. It's like, it's like we've been brainwashed for politicians. It, right. It's steal and give to the rich. So from the rich, you know, anymore. Robin, Robin, rich and give to the poor. You don't like him. Of course. Well, it's it's horrible. You go out. And you got to. You work an hour. You make ten dollars. You work. You make twenty dollars. If you if you get a good if you get a good education, fifty an hour. Maybe just a little floor. If you love any of those wages, twelve dollars any of those wages, don't live in Florida past Orlando. Go ahead. No, it's just it, it, it's just cool. What? The story about the little girl that lied, said the little white kids. Oh yeah. Uh, yes. Found out she's lying. Look, she's lying. A little, she told her Jesse. Yeah. She told her Justice Smollett. But she's young now. What is she? I like? know, 12. 12 years old. And see, the problem now is, see, there we go again. There's that slippery slope. But she's just a baby. Just like that 15 year old. She's just a baby. Yeah, but here you have 52 year old Stacey Dash of clueless fame yes. smacking her husband and scratching him and going to jail. Dash, and she was a another commentator. Yes. Get rid of the BET awards because it only awards black, black people. people. Yeah, she married some lawyer guy. Wonder what he looks like. White. Has oh, to be they, white. But he called the cops on his wife. Yeah, he's white. He called the cops on his wife. He's white. But she's, you know, even if you watch that movie Clueless in that movie, you can almost believe that she was going to turn out to be a little like she played that role all too well like she didn't really have to get like that was her personality almost. But because of her just because, 
Accepting it, it's it's, sad. Sad. it's, 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 it's sad. unfortunate, but there's Lewis, the, the farmers, all the farmers voted for him. They they they, 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 they got him. screwed royally, but in farming, he's given farming these farmers eighteen billion dollars. So of course they're gonna like what he's doing. They ain't gonna they down don't trouble that but his rich farmer but his they probably loaded, but it's not gonna trickle down to that voting base of his. Lewis, we don't I'm not supporting them. I just know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be a bunch of blah blah blah, blah 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 every day on TV, and nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. But what you know, this is the key thing. What are they deflecting? See, when I, I always look at like, and you know, some of these movies. He's throwing pits on what, the table. What, shit. what is really going on that they are distracting us with all this crap? Money. His sons are loaded. Those sons are here. They're making deals. All I think. This is my personal opinion. We well, haven't heard from them in a while. I haven't heard they from them kids in a while. I heard from I heard from none of them. I think, personal opinion, that the kids are setting up a life of wealth for the Trump family, a la Rockefeller. Why give his tax returns? Uh, and this, I don't think he's filed. He ain't filed. They're dirty. He ain't filed. He ain't filed. That's why. He says, heck with the government. I'm not filing taxes. I ain't filing. I don't think we're, just show me where he returns. Did he because he says he's been under audit. Mm. How long has audits going on for three years? And, that is dash and he girl. said after his audit, though, he was gonna he, sorry, go back to ask girl. Yes. I thought about something we're, we're thinking about her. Might be oh. true, but you hold on to what you believe in. Yeah. I don't believe in either one of them right now, Lewis. I don't I'm believe in them. any of them. I, both of them are liars. I believe in Jesse Shit. Ventura. Bring back the bring back Governor Jesse. I don't believe either one of them right now, Lewis. Tell someone today. I hate the term "the lesser of two evils." Yes. Oh, that drives me. It's crazy. still evil. No matter what, it's evil. It's just less evil. It's still evil. Pick the lesser of two evils. They're both evil. Oh, he's total scam. Oh, God, yeah, he's scam. Big time. Look at all the stuff that he did in Atlantic City. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, the hell, the USFL. He did a, a whole damn football league against the NFL and ran that in the ground. He had the best players, too. Oh, look, he's had immigrant workers working at all his places. Come on, man. We know what he is. Undocumented workers at all of his resorts. He's living in America. Undocumented is working at Lago Moore, probably. <laughs> but back to Stacey. Go ahead, back to Stacey. I had a. She, she, she's beautiful. She, she's a beautiful girl. I have a theory, and I have a dating theory with a friend of mine. Go ahead. She dated a, a rap star first. Okay. This guy she beat up was a lawyer. Fourth husband, by the way. Fourth husband. 52 years old. Word of the day. Uh -oh. I always hear women say, oh, there ain't no men out there. I can't find no man. Then we got chicks like this that bump into millionaire after millionaire. The chick Steve Harvey's divorcing. She was married to a drug lord first. He gets arrested. She got two kids from him. Then she married Steve Harvey. Another millionaire. So just pay in certain circles. You have to. Did you ever see the movie Intolerable Cruelty? No, I with, it's that. with uh, uh, it's Catherine Zeta Jones and okay. George Clooney. Good. He's a divorce attorney, uh -huh. and she's one of these women that looks for men, rich, that, guys. rich guys. And it's this whole funny movie, and he's got this uh, prenup that's impenetrable, and he gets with her at the end of the movie and doesn't have her sign the prenup. And, oh, geez. You know, it's a great movie. You have to watch but to, Those. Women oh, exist. there's a whole society of those That's women. That's my point. They date different oh, guys, marry yes. different guys. Matchmakers for it. Late, some late. Yeah. It's is, it, is it in it, the brain? It, 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 you know, it's a gift. It starts here. Uh, it, and it, 
And then if they're, they gotta, have, they gotta have a little. No, but this is where, it, this is where, those this and this what to do. When I hear Mary four times. Frank Ivanzano joining us. Hey, Frank, you all together go to a concert one of these days. Today. Yes. Women have sex with who they want to. Of course. Men have sex with who they can. Well, who allow them to have with sex? Who they allow? Right. You and yes, they do. You have the power. Total power. But how in the world? These chicks just keep bumping in the million after million, and I keep hearing women, I ain't had no daddy. Well, I ain't got no man. Ain't no good men out here. Well, there are no good men, according to most women. If you but shit, Stacey Dash has got four. She gets one a decade. That's impressive. Yeah, that's one a freaking decade. That is a well, less than that. She's fifty-two years old, so in yeah. thirty years, let's say yeah. she's had four husbands. Wow, that is impressive. She goes through husbands like people would go through milk and good job. Right? Oh, and and, and the movie Clueless. You know, sometimes you look at Gerard Nelson. Look, sometimes these movies, you play a character in a movie. You think that's your true. life. So I think the bad internet sound is coming from your and FY screen freezing here and there. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry Thank about you, that. We'll, we'll try our best. This weather sucks. Yeah, it must I'm be allowed. something with the weather. Sorry about that. Yeah, you, you, the Comcast, another one. You know, come on, get it right. We we got hardwired in here. It doesn't make sense. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing that, Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. But anyway, you play a character in a movie. And then your life kind of looks like that. She played the character in the movie, yes. this highfalutin, high society, black girl, friends with a rich white girl, okay, with the fancy clothes, yes. okay, yeah. at, the, at the prestigious high school in California, in Beverly Hills, yes. and look at her life. Now, you look at a guy like Al Pacino in Scarface. It took him a long time to break, break that character of Tony Montana. Yep. It's not fair. No, but there are certain characters that these actors, especially when they do the get into character, yes. I guess it's the Meisner method or whatever mm -hmm. method, really do a self as that character. Like, Tom Hanks with Forrest Gump. Yeah, he he really, he was, really was far. Uh, I mean, that, I mean everything about him. I thought he was slow. My damn stuff. I thought he was, he was amazing. He was slow. That was, a good actor. That was great Holy acting. Shit. Holy shit! That was a good actor. But but this girl has taken this character from yeah. her teen days mm -hmm. and has turned her life into four marriages. And now going to jail for a domestic battery. This should be. She's totally no comment, by the way, people or by anybody in her team. No, but she look. She she hasn't done anything in a long time. But she is she is still beautiful. Now that I have, this is like one of those things that you out and I told and I saw it. But this is one of those things, and I hate to get morbid, but one of those ways you never want to die. And this happened in St. John's County. Hey, Michael Weintraub joining us here. Joining us at the right time, Jesus. Unidentified woman found dead inside a burning porta potty. Um, not say that you want to die. And it happened in Baltimore, too, supposedly, outside Raven State. I mean, is the shit that bad? That the well, but the thing is, if you light a match and all the all the fumes, all, like the you know, there's Mexican, you know, and, and it was near a construction site, so you know that there's Mexicans and guys eating beef. The bad <laughs> stuff. How racist! How racist! Most, most of these guys are working on construction sites. Okay, yeah, the I work on construction sites. The I, these things are up. nasty. Oh, the, they, the roach coaches. Those roach coaches are some of the worst. worst oh, oh, if you if you did a bacteria test on that those on those more. trucks, and with all of, oh my god, it's crazy. They got number eleven food over. 
No, I look. There were times. Man, I, Gusto, oh. do and ready. Do yourselves a favor. Two things: never use a porta potty by oh, a construction Kevin. site. Oh, porta potty. Never oh. use a porta potty at a construction site, and never eat food off a construction food truck. I, I, now, that I'm, now that you're saying that out loud, I am a germaphobe. You are. I think I'm pissing the bushes before I go in the um, porta let thing. Oh, you have to be very careful in those things. Yeah, those things are nasty, man. I'm not going in there, man. Very I careful. Those outdoor concerts and shit. Oh, people be lined up at the porta. Ain't no way. If man. I know that I'm going to an event, mm -hmm. I do not drink a lot of water I before drink. I go, and I make sure whatever I eat is not going to upset my stomach. I was stomach. the kid at school that would flush the toilet with his foot. Yes, I do it now. I, I do it I, today. I do I it today. And I take my towel and I use it on the handle. Yeah, I don't man. touch the handle. Because how many people are? Like, yeah. Yeah. But the funny thing yeah. is, though, yeah. think, about, think about this, though. And we can talk yeah. about this. When you go to the bathroom, and you pull your penis out, your hands are dirty. Your, your, your penis because it's been tucked away the whole time. Or you wash your hands first. But yes, you, can, you gotta be very careful with that. Oh, you do wash. See, I don't know. I just shake my hand after you go out of the bathroom. Really? It is? All right. Clear this part of the bathroom. Uh, okay, enough with the bathroom stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. That's okay. Now, more news, and this is a couple of things going on. Yes. We all we all heard about this story last year. Yeah. The uh, Texas cop, it was in Houston, yeah. who shot her neighbor, uh, a young black man, accountant. Mm -hmm. uh, his name was, let's see, I have it here, Bothan Jonas. Something to that effect. That effect. That uh, yeah. yeah, you read about that. Mm -hmm. we, we all we all read about it. Uh, let's see. Amber got Bothan Jean. 26 year old after she had come home and went into the wrong apartment heard some without even asking what just shot this guy yeah. now she makes a statement in the newspaper the other day and i'll read it uh i next dallas officer amber geiger 31 years old who's on trial i wish neighbor had killed me instead now, if that would have happened, alert. forget about it. That man would have been hung up. Forget about it. He invaded his apartment. What if he did have a gun and shot her dead? Now, there's a guy 72 years old, and I think this happened in, down, in Texas, too, uh, over the weekend. A guy was attempting to burglarize his home. He shot the guy, went back into his house, and two hours later got up and realized that he had shot the person and the person was laying flat and died and now he's being brought up on charges See, that's why i don't own one that's why my parents I are too bad i shoot the shit out of somebody and then there's too many rules there's too many too much gray area great oh you walked in my house you popped me oh my bad she's amber is like, i already here now oh i didn't know now, her no, wife, accident. one of her superior officers testified and thought that she was in the right, which, which makes no sense to me. Makes no sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we love the cops. I you know what show I'm kind of Live PD. Oh, yeah, that's a good show. That's a good Very show. Good. Resist. Why would you resist? Those people, you get if you, they put their knee in your back. They smash your head into the into the grass or into the pavement. Nothing. Why would you resist? Drugs. I am drugs. Drugs and alcohol. Uh, most of the people are drunk or yeah. I call it, that's why they used to call it tough guy juice when I was a kid. You go to drinking this shit, and all of a sudden you tough, even against the cops. I love watching that shit. It's hilarious. Nick Navarro made us famous with the cop show. Yes. I'll never forget the first time cops came on. My dad was like, I'm dead first. They were like, oh, shit. Fifth Avenue. They in our neighborhood. Great show. Great show. And we've been going live ever since. Ever since. Then we go again. We always tell everybody, cops, 
made everybody start going live. Stop breaking it up. I'm going to record it to see if I can make some money. And they have. They've been very successful. That started a whole generation of, you know what? I ain't going to break this shit up. I might have me a viral but video. Has it created a society of voyeurs? People that just love to watch? That's all we are. Now, you're not a, you know, you're, as a voyeur, you're not a participant. No, you're, you're just, just watch. You're just a watcher. You just watch. And that's what we do in America. Listen, just like everything we're doing right now with this politics and all this shit, we're just watching. We're not going to do shit. We're going to read and watch. Talk in the living room. Go about our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah, we'll do our thing here on this show. We'll talk about, talk about it. it. Talk about it. Are you going to do something about it? Mm -mm. I'm not going to do anything. I got kids to deal with. I got parents. I got a wife. I got a mom to deal with. I got my own. Just don't get us blown up, big guy. But now, here's what's interesting. Mm -hmm. Out of all that's going on, mm -hmm. okay, the Jewish New Year. Happy New Year. Happy guys. New Year once Rush again to all of our Jewish good. friends, Stephen and Russ joining us. Yeah. So, yeah, Happy New Year. 50, I think it's 5780 is the new year. Uh, the president wished the Israelis and Jews a Happy New Year. Uh, Putin wished the Jews and the Israelis a Happy New Year. The Iranian prime minister wish the Jews yeah. a happy new year and a safe holiday. Can't this be every day? Like, why does it have to be? Because you know after the 10 days is up, you know, this is the high holidays for the Jews. It's a whole 10 days. Okay. But after this 10 days, the Iranians are going to go back to trying to annihilate the Jews. I mean, thanks for all the days off. The kids enjoyed it today. I that was interesting, though, because Dania Beach City Hall was open. Oh, Del I don't think Del Rey was close. It was all bad. water. There's no yeah, Jews in Del Rey. But I bet Boca Raton was probably closed. Yeah. Okay, Del Rey was closed because I tried calling and I got no answer. Wow. Population. School, yeah, schools were oh. yeah, amazing. You get Christmas really. off. Christmas is not well, Hanukkah, we get all that off. I mean, dreidel, dreidel, spin the dreidel. Hanukkah is here. I had to learn that in elementary school. My Aunt Dina joining us. Hey, and they, they taught me that song in elementary school. I've never forgot it. Never That's forgot impressive. Dreidel, dreidel, spin the dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Hanukkah is here. Wow. Ha -ha! And it's right. Ha -ha! The uncle like. Impressive. Impressive. Yes, I know Hanukkah. Spin that dreidel. Rosh Hashanah, not so much. I don't know the songs. Now, one more story coming yes. back to like the whole Donald and making yes. the whole circle yes. is former GOP Jeff Flake yes. GOPs not to support Trump in 2020. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Time to risk your career in favor of your principal. Who are they going to vote for? Republican candidate besides this man for 2020. No, Who's no, going no, against him? Nobody. Thank you. Nobody. And there's no way that these guys, Happy New Year, Antina. There's no way they're going to vote for an independent. No. And there's no, no way they're voting for, no. No way, man. Definitely no sister. None of that. We not ready. We just not ready, America. Now, it's funny because in the 45th season of Saturday Night Live, Saturday night, they went hard. Like almost every skit was political, it seemed. Yeah, and it's, it's, come on, enough, guys. Saturday Night Live ain't been good in a while. A long time. Not Eddie Murphy uh, saying he's coming back. And I look at my old comedy and I was like, I can't believe I said some of that stuff. Eddie Murphy, that <laughs> shit was great. How dare great. you? Right. Now all this PC shit that caught up with Eddie, no way. Don't no. you come out with a new special, Eddie, with your 70 million, trying to be some political guy. I want the delirious. I want that Eddie Murphy. Comedy because at my cousin's house last night mm -hmm. they turned on this guy and I've seen a little bit of his stuff and I, I like his one thing but I don't think he's that funny but I guess people think he's funny and that's this guy Sebastian Menca uh, Mencuso or yeah. however you say his name mm -hmm. he he does like an Andrew, he's like a, a young a like, a, like a dice clay yeah. type and I don't think he's funny I really don't like he does this one thing about going to Passover dinner. 
And that's, you know, as we're talking about the Jewish holiday and, you know, he gets the book and all he wants when he's, as an Italian, they got to have bread in a couple of minutes of sitting down, which is very true. You go to an Italian restaurant, the first thing they throw at you is bread. And, and and, And the truth, which is funny, is that as Jews, our cuisine after bread, much. No. Bagel with cream cheese, which is right. The lox, the eggs, the onions, you yeah. know, stuff like that. Yeah. Well, look, we do make a good soup, a chicken. Look, yeah. the soup is good for the soul. You guys are right? not. And the pastrami good. and the corned beef is what it is. The deli is not. It's not like I'm calling my buddy up and we're going to the deli tonight. Although, I do like going and I'll give him a little plug in Fort Lauderdale. Decent food. All right. I, I, while we're on that, uh, uh, go ahead. I knew you. I knew you couldn't resist I bringing this. this, way. Way. Oh, this, this is, go uh, ahead. We're talking I about Judaism holiday, and we're talking about Judaism. We're almost done here. Yes. Um. Read a flyer today. He's black, gay, Jewish, and sings in Yiddish. Anthony Moore. Tim Russell. Now, to my Judaic friends, not named Matt. <laughs> why do we have to put on the flyer that he's black, he's gay, he's Jewish, and he sings in Yiddish? Is that even fair? Is that even legal? Talk about uniform. Is he identifying as Because I don't think my Jewish friends go for all that other stuff he said in the title. <clears throat> No, but I think I think that 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 as a culture, mm-hmm. and, and again, it's it's it, it. This is what gets me. Judaism is a religion. Yes. Okay. It's not a nationality. No. Okay. So as uh, let's uh, let's talk religion now. Christianity is a religion. Religion. Okay. Judaism. Is that one pastor that came out that the Jews are going to go to hell oh, and all that right. stuff yeah. and whatever? But okay, and tr- he's a Trump supporter. Okay, let's just say that. But anyway, as a religion, I think the Jewish people, and I don't want to use the word tolerant because I think that's the wrong word to use. We use the word accepting. I think that the Jewish people are definitely more accepting of who people are and that they allow people to be themselves. And, and, in, and in the Baptist religion, look, and some of these other religions, if you, it, look, the Kajiks, you cannot be gay. It's, it's just impossible. They're, they're going to do everything they can to exercise those the demons, the, the, demon the demon out of you. you can be hold for trans. That's right. We're going to demonize well, you. Got, you guys are going to exercise. You're more like, you either England or yeah. you either Willis or Jesus. It's kind of, uh, I don't want to say mafia like. You're in or you're out. So if you're doing your. We're good. That's all I want you to say. We're not going to bother you. Don't bother us. We won't bother you. Over here, <laughs> just stay over there. But say that because some of this stuff gets thrown and we get away from the root of what it is. It's a, a religion. It is. It's not. Period. Period. It's, it's a belief. So, like, if you're American, you're American. You, you don't believe you're American. You're born here in America. It's not a belief. You that's know, why I get in trouble all the time. And I tell people all the time, no, Judea, you, you, you're Jewish. Right. You're, you're African-American. You're Spanish. You're gay. But if you don't no. believe in Judaism, you're not Jewish. If you don't believe in religion, you don't believe, you know. It's not a group. It's not They're a, not a race. What are they? It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. And you're not a race. No. But they want to make it a race. They want to make it a race. You're not a race. They want to put it, look, I mean, if they had their choices, if they really did, white, black, uh, Caucasian, Spanish, gay. gay. They, me, you. Because no, I got black gay friends that I bet you they had. They love their gay part more than they do their black, black, black part. part. Yes, I believe that. Because the black people don't like you. No. They be. no. That's what they say. So I'm going to go here back. And what about that kid who just became uh, a kid? With a dress. Uh, you saw that, right? Yeah. 
I put it on my page. And one of my, <laughs> and one of my black friends said, one of my black friends said, see, Chris, these are the liberal, these are the black men that liberals like. Yes. And I got and all my liberal friends got offended. Like, oh, you only think that the liberals only like black gay black guys or trans maybe. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> I mean, when you no. talk about gay stuff, well, the liberals come out no, for the brothers. No, they don't play. Big they come out big time. Big All that shooting shit, that police shooting black people shit, not so much. No. But you say something about a gay black person. Oh. oh. Here they come. But now let, let's wrap this up in a yes. way because you had a very cool Saturday. Yes, I did. Where you went to this uh, organization. Yeah. Touch bikers it. against uh, uh, Baca. Baca. Bikers against child and, and I looked it up. They're nationwide. They're, they're, they're for real. They're talking about bringing their national convention. But um, yeah, a tremendous event for youth. They had all these different organizations there, and they were talking about the mental uh, health and, and all the stuff that's happening to kids, child abuse, incest, and rape. And I, I as a person. I left shop because I didn't. Know, I knew it was prevalent, but till you go to something like it, you know. Right. But I'm you gotta be careful who the hell. These babysitters, they're just dropping them off anywhere. Now, yeah, the comedian is out the window now. I'm dead serious. You need to know who the hell keeping your kids. Yes. Relatives and all. You know, man. Yeah, how many uncles have destroyed? And then they think I'd be overprotective with mine. I don't drop mine off anywhere. And I hope my friends out there in the regular land aren't doing the same. This weekend, okay. five shows in Palm Harbor, Florida. That is up around Kissim uh, no, that's St. Pete. So if I got any yeah. black friends listening, oh, please West come Coast. over. West Coast, please come over. Don't play t shirts. All I see is always $20. $20. So all five X. X. Yeah. I got my yeah. We're going to be building that website. Oh, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Oh, it's coming also, soon. coming soon, my lovely girlfriend Michelle and I are yes. opening up DB20 Studios I can't wait. up in Del Rey. I'm where going you, live. Where you, my suit on. With your suit on. Yeah, we'll get Chris working out there. We're going to we're gonna do a before and after with you that people are going to be like, holy cow. My cousin Kim. By the way, my cousin Kim hosted Rosh Hashanah dinner last night. Oh, thank you, Kim, for Rosh Hashanah dinner. Yeah, invite me. Did a great job. You know, maybe we'll get. You know, I, I know. I want to hear it. Wait, Yom Kippur, where you break fast. We're gonna find. We're gonna. We're gonna find a really good house to invite you to. To, to come. I want to integrate one of those. You wanna. You wanna. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna I work on. There. We're gonna work on. Chris integrating a bit. I've been to King's Days and, and uh, Bar Mitzvah's. You've, you've never been to a break fast. I've been to a Bar but I have not been to a break fast. Okay. I'm so ready. All right. We're going to do a break fast for you. We're going to find the right. Anybody out there that wants to invite Chris, and we'll, we'll, I'll come. We'll be a regular. I'll come and start in the and, and we'll do a break fast. And there'll be bagels, a meal, a bit of tuna fish, and a white fish. And we'll see if you can, can handle the cuisine of a break fast. Oh, shit. Can I bring hot sauce? Are we breaking fast at my house? My house is too small to break fast at. But. Well, and, I, and I don't fast, so I, I, I don't do the fast. Do you thing. play around with, the, with your Judaism? I want to play around. I'm fasting. You either going to do it or you're not. Blood blood. In your blood no, out. one day a year is not going to atone for all my sins. Blood in, blood out. You either believe or you don't. I don't. I'm very disappointed. I don't believe. I'm very I'm a, a non-believer. But anyway, VB20 Studios opening up in Del Rey. It's going to be a great studio, a lot of fun. Inbox me if you want some more information. We can send you. Don't forget your Unk Life t Unk Life t-shirts. The Dolphins, thank God, are off next week. Yes. Miami is at home against Virginia Tech. Should be an interesting Ooh, game. Uh, they come off a of bye week. And tonight, the game, Bengals versus Steelers. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's got to win. Peace. Yeah. I'm Matt Posner. We're the Irregulars. Thanks for joining us, everybody.
Oh, it was 